Hello, stamping friends. It's Marilyn Wagner here at Stamping Creations with Marilyn, coming to you for another Thursday night Facebook Live. So I welcome all of you, whether you've been here before or not. I'm coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. And we've had some more beautiful, beautiful weather. So just checking in to see how you're doing. And I know everybody's busy this time of year with back to school and getting ready for the next season, the fall season that's coming. And I'm similar. Been doing lots of planning for my Christmas card classes, my monthly club, which meets the third Wednesday of each month. So if you want to join, it's all virtual. I can share with you the Zoom, the Zoom link if you want to join. Just look for it on my social media website and wherever because we always have room for more, especially when it's virtual, so we have a good time. We, it's a great crafting community. So today I was working on those, getting those kits ready for my six members that I have so far, but like I say, if you wanna join, just let me know and we'll work something out that you can do, whether from anywhere in Canada, wherever you are, I'd love to have you join. So hello, Sharon, hello, Judy. Good to see you're here with me. Thank you for joining. So I'm going to turn the camera down to see my desktop. I am trying a new lighting system and phone holder tonight, so bear with me while I try to learn how that all is working. And like I say, let me know what you did today, if you did some crafting, whether it was card making, scrapbooking, sewing, knitting, whatever. I'd just love to hear what you're doing. So please share with me, and if you have any cards similar to what we're making tonight, or Otherwise, just share. It's a great, great activity for all of us to learn from each other and to share what we love doing. So I'm going to turn the camera and adjust the stand. So there's the camera. You can see the other side of my room. Not great to look at, but it is there. And we will go down. Let's try that far. And it looks like... We are in the right place, and there. So hello, Linda, you found me. You did make two cards today. Good for you, good for you. Glad to hear it. Uh, there's so many things. I have so many different sets and plans for things that I want to share with all of you eventually, so I'm glad that you do join me. So as you know, we have an annual catalog. I'm just going to go over a few things. We have, and there's lots of, of things in there which somehow seem to get lost when we come out with, or Stampin' Up! comes out with a mini catalog, which we also have right now, going to December. Actually, it goes to January 3rd, if you look on the back of the catalog. And if you're in Canada, do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to share these kind of things with you, whether it's a catalog, whether it's ideas, whether it's... Have you joined my team? Which is a great opportunity right now. You do not have to do anything other than join. You get to save a bundle because right now during celebration, you can pick a bundle for free and that's what, what that is all about. So you can, any of these bundles and you can see if I hold it right, maybe, we have prices anywhere from $48.50 with a punch to $81.75 with dies and stamp sets and anywhere in between. There's another one with a punch, there's more dies, $72.68. Any of these 12 bundles you can pick for free if you join my team now during celebration, which goes to uh, the end of September. It's a second one that we have this year. We don't normally have two celebrate, or we never have before had two celebrations. Let me put it that way. So some great things in the celebration you can get. And again, I'm talking in Canada for $60 order, you can get free items. I did not check today, but I heard yesterday that all of them were still available. And we had been warned that this bedazzling specialty paper as well as these dies, we're going to be perhaps running out of them. And I don't think that's happened yet, so that's great. There is some penguin paper that goes with that set 
the Penguin Place Bundle, which is a, a punch and stamp set in the mini catalog. There is a Feels Like Home stamp set, and that one is the one that we are going to be working with tonight. If you saw my picture earlier today, I did post a picture of what I made, and I'm going to do one just a little bit different tonight. So that one you could get free for 60 more designer paper in black and white, which you can color, and it also coordinates with the hand-penned bundle that's in the mini. The Peaceful Prints paper, which has the deer that punches out with the punch, and lots of other Christmassy paper, but you could also use it. I've used one in my card class for next week that I'm promoting as just a birthday card or a thinking of you card, not necessarily Christmas. The dies, which I mentioned for the sheep, and I have a card to show you at the end today too, and the counting sheep stamp set, $60. You can get each of those. Textures and frames, I do have that one, but I haven't used it much yet. The Summer Shadows dies, which you do need to spend 124, but it is a great set that also goes with Shaded Summer stamp set. So, so many opportunities. The Delicate Dahlias, which I've seen lots of samples for. I haven't done that one yet. And then when we get to the host rewards for celebration, if you spend $375, or if you have a group of friends and you all get together and spend that, you do get this free stamp set. I've seen some great cards made with that stamp set as well. And then the join opportunity, which I mentioned in the beginning. You spend $135, you pick $165 of what you want. Can't be over that. And you get to pick from these 12 bundles. So, great, great time to... Um, be part of my team. I'd love to have you and a couple of you on here are my team members today and you can vouch for that that we have a lot of fun with what we do. So like I said please let me know if you created today doing anything whether it was stamping or sewing or any of craft that you do. I'd love to hear about it. Also want to mention if you are placing an order with me and do not and it's under $200. That is my current host code. So now I would like to share with you the card that I want to make today. So using Feels Like Home, it has, I can't thank you enough, missing you, your friendship feels like home to me. I'm always and forever here for you. That's what I always tell my team. And this three stamps with images. So this is the one we're going to use. And when you look at it, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, I don't want to to color. I don't want to color. Well, I got news for you. I didn't color this one today and I think it looks pretty awesome. So let's give it a whirl. And that's not the die I'm using. But this is the card. So you can see I just stamped it in a coordinating color, which is what Stampin' Up! is just great for doing. Hello, Susan. Welcome. And I use designer paper from the in colors, 2021 to 2023 in colors. I thought, you know, I buy this all the time because I like it and then I kind of tuck it away and don't remember to use it. So I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm trying to use different designer papers this year. So I'm going to show you how I put this card together. A little bit of a corner um, bracket to hold it. And it's actually quite easy. So I want to thank Sharon Martin from Shaza Crafts for sharing this design with us. And I'm going to make this one out of the pale papaya. <laughs> totally lost my, my memory as to what that was. So I have cut my corner piece out. And to do that, I used this equilateral triangle, a pretty big word, eh? And all I did to do it, you can see from here, is I I cut my, it's out of designer paper with the stitched framelit, but I then just laid it on here and cut it off here. 
So there wasn't a lot of measuring or anything to do with that. And again, these stitch triangles, I have had them for a long time and I haven't used them for much. So on a mission for that. I've seen lots using this particular shape to make Christmas trees on cards. So that may be in my future too. We'll, we'll see what comes up with that. So let me get started with some measurements for you. And if you have these, craft along with me. I'd love to see what you can make. So I have a piece that's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And I have started using more and more my scoreboard to score. And for those of you who do come to my monthly card class, I've really been trying to remember to do that for you, is do my scoring before I cut. And then it Obviously, that wasn't working. You see that? It's not even scored in the middle. Let me bring in the scoreboard and see why. Ah, I did five and a quarter. Just happened to have another piece cut the right length. We'll try this one at five and a half. So, do as I say, not as I did. And let's see about that one. Ah, that's better. Okay. I knew I'd left that other piece out here for a reason. So we start by folding that and crisping the edges. And really, I should change that, shouldn't I? Then I'm going to cut a piece. It's four and a quarter this way. So I want a piece three inches by four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that off of here with my paper trimmer and save it because that is what forms the back of the backing for that piece. So four and a quarter by three. So if we just put it in there like that at three, then it's going to go on here. So nothing wasted works perfect. It's just, and I have a piece that's four by two and three quarters that is going to go on here. My little triangle will go on here. And I am trying to watch if you're saying things to me. So please chat amongst yourselves. Let me know what kind of crafting you've done recently. And uh, let's, let's share and learn from each other. I have a piece of designer paper, again from that package. And as you can see, there's different designs on either side. That is four by two and a quarter. So it's going to go here. But before we put anything together, I like to do my stamping. And today I have set up the Stamparatus. Partly because of this being a larger stamp, I'm a little leery that I might have to stamp it twice to get the image I want. So I have marked on here, I don't know if you can see them, but I've got little corner marks, whoops, get that in the camera, um, for where my paper was when I set up the, the stamps on it. And because stamp, the Stamparatus comes with different plates, you can do that. So I have my, my greeting, my little greeting that says, I can't thank you enough. And yes, I have pale papaya, but I'm going to use soft suede for my ink. And either put something like this or a stamp case behind it. And then when you ink it, it doesn't bend that much. And just test it, of course. But I can see that it's oh, bouncing, bouncing. Oh, and look it. Don't do what I did. Again, lucky we have two sides. So, and this is just your regular four inch by five and a quarter. And this time I'm not going to press it quite so hard. Actually, maybe take this out from underneath, it would help. Hello, Lori, welcome. Oh, much better, much better. So I can take, once that's done, I'm done with that particular plate. I will 
do that. And then for this one, I mounted it on this plate coming from the other direction. So I find my stamp case. It works quite well in behind it. And my piece that's four by two and three quarters, again, if I can remember, where, oh there, where my marks were for that one. <laughs> and always before I put the ink on it, I can test it. So you can see that I, and I like to ink it, and again, sorry, see my camera is bouncing, but bear with me. So ink it, stamp it, and if you need to stamp again, because the stamparatus is there like that, you can, see if I can hold the light and maybe do my inking there. So I know that uh, in Canada we are having an election soon. And how many of you watched the French debate last night and understood it? <laughs> it wouldn't have been for me. I would, didn't, wasn't home, so I didn't uh, for most of it. Also, when you're done with that, take your plate out. It's not, not a good idea to store the plate in the hinge part. And tonight is the, the English debate on. But it's on for two hours, so I don't think we're really missing anything by doing some stamping while it's on there. Okay, so there is my, my image. And again, you could color um, with your markers. I wouldn't color with blends when you've only used classic ink for your stamping. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to just put all my layers together. So I will put this on the inside and I can use my Stampin' Seal. And we found through trial and error and sharing with other demonstrators that using your silicone mat underneath it helps this roll a lot better. So if you don't have one, that's something to put on your wish list. And I'm going to line that up hoping that you can see it. Then I'm going to put my designer paper on here. And same thing for a flat surface that I shouldn't have to move. Like needing the, the liquid glue to have some wiggle room. I should be able to, I hope, just tuck that on there so it's the right place. My on this one I will use the liquid glue just because and what I've what I've done is I've got the opposite side of the designer paper so I'm going to show a little bit of both sides because you know when we buy this designer paper that is most often our biggest problem is deciding which side we want to show because they are beautiful papers, no matter, hmm, quit wiggling so much. A little bit off on that corner. Don't think it's going to make a big difference though. So I'm going to put that on there with the tiny dimensionals because I can put them just on these edges so this is our mini dimensionals, and they won't be in the way of that other layer when I tuck it underneath the edge. So, so that's what I need there. And then basically I need to put some ribbon, which I think I'll put it on after I put the, the front greet, well, the front image focal point and this I'm going to line up 
best I can when I can't hold it up here. This one will have my image on it. And yeah, please stick around. I, or if you're watching the replay or you're watching on YouTube, I do a draw at the end of my Facebook Lives for who, everyone who comments on last week's Facebook Live will has their name in my winning wheel and it's ready to go. So I will make that draw and you have a chance to win the card from last week. So this one I am going to turn over, put my finger there where the edge is and put liquid glue on because I may want to move that a little bit. And place it so that you can see the grating. The corner is going to tuck under there. That little bit of glue I've got there, I'm going to try and wipe off. And hopefully there's no glue poking through on that side. And we've all learned that even if there is, there is always a way to fix it. It gives you... Um, a chance for embellishments or turn the paper over as you saw me do in that other piece. So now we have ribbon that matches all of these in colors and I'm going to do my best to try a tie a ribbon on camera. So don't don't uh, hello Barbara welcome happy to have you here watching. Don't judge me if it doesn't work, okay, for this. Um, any of you that have techniques and tips on tying ribbons while you're trying to talk and share and whatever, please let me know. So I can move it. I'm not going to glue it down yet. So I want to put right, right over left and around. And then that's going to go this way. And then... This was my left. I'm going to put left over right. And that one has come loose, so I'll tie it tighter. And when you do left over right, right over left, left over right, it will lay flat like that. So obviously this one I didn't do quite the same way. So now I am going to place it at the end of my focal piece. Can move it just a little bit and I am going to put a glue dot on the back just to keep it there when I get it where I want it. I'm going to trim my, my ends as such and basically that is our card. So like I say, please, if you're going to make one, it's quite simple. I can put the, uh, if you like, I will put the dimensions for each. Oh, that was handy. Where did it go? Lost it. Take another one. I'll find that when I really don't want it. So that's just a glue dot under there to hold that in place and then my corner will tuck under there. So let me know, do you like the pale papaya or the evening evergreen? Which one do you like best? And like I say, if you're going to, or, or please do one similar and share with me. I'd love to, to see your samples because we all learn from each other. So, same sets, same stamps, just different paper. And it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? So the other ones I want to share with you, my show and tell. I have this one done with some more of the cork. So isn't that neat, Make, making a, a window frame with it? A little bit of embossing folder on the uh, this layer. Some embellishments, a little bit of coloring with the blends. And you've got a great card. Doesn't matter what colors you used, you can always match. So I like that one. This one 
we did the one of the Christmas papers out of the mini, and I'm sorry I can't remember the name. Not even going to try. But the, it has lots of animals. It has dogs, cats. I think somebody actually cut out a little mouse with whatever, but it, it's a... And done with the Christmas colors, just a little bit of other designer paper out of that set and some words. And you've got a great Christmas card, for, especially for a, a um, pet lover. The sheep that I showed you in the celebration, just done with the black and white paper at the back and not much coloring. If you're not really into the coloring thing, we colored the, the face and a little bit on the the wool of the sheep and did that one and then this is a swap that I received from one of our downline we do a downline swap for those who want to not it's not enforced by any means and it's got some embellish or some embossing some of the heat embossing which is still my favoritest isn't that a neat word my most favorite technique and some of the glimmer paper uh, this designer paper is no longer available, but it's very pretty and goes with the silver there. So let me know what you've been doing. I see, Sharon, you were at knitting class. I did not know they had a knitting class. Very good. I'm going to wait. Expect to see some of your projects when you get them done. Or when you want to share them, I should say. So I have also been busy getting ready for Stamping Staycation. Unfortunately, for those of you who have not registered, that registration finished at noon today. We are anxiously going to get everything together for tomorrow. Tomorrow night we're doing a session, Zoom to Facebook, our private Facebook group for that, and then Saturday all day. So really looking forward to sharing that with you. And if you, like I say, if you didn't get in on the registration for that, watch for the next one. There's always something coming up. So now I would like to just move these aside and this is the card we made last week. It has some of the cork on it and one of the embossing folders that says hello. You can see that. So I have your names in the wheel of winning which I can bring over here on my iPad and see if you can see it there without too much glare and I'm going to spin and we will see who the winner is Karen Y congratulations Karen that will be in the mail to you thank you for commenting and for the rest of you please 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 comment share and your name can be in the draw for next week. Deborah, yes, those sheep are so cute, aren't they? I can see the grandkids really appreciating birthday cards and maybe even a Christmas card with that. Um, it does have a birthday with it in the stamp set. I don't believe, just a sec while I look at the... Yes, you're amazing and it's your birthday. So I could end up with you're amazing for the grandkids for whenever, just when I'm thinking of you cards. So, so thank you for joining me. If you're watching the replay, I really appreciate you doing that. If you're watching on YouTube, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel there. And the more I can get there, maybe eventually I can do YouTube Live, which I understand from some of the research I've done is a little more stable than doing a Facebook Live, but I haven't been able to try it yet. So that will be coming somewhere down the line in the future. And this card will be going to someone who has commented on here. So thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care all. Yes, Sharon, I do remember when your birthday is. <laughs>